Let's talk about bass osc. That's Traction's new synth. And whether you want to go for a simple sub or a complex bass, this has got you covered, especially if you're going to use it within a rack. Let's get into it. Got all these nice controls like um, this one here, this wave in the middle. Level, decay. Velocity. So that's how much it sees, how hard you hit your key. If I've got velocity all the way down, it doesn't matter how hard I hit the key, it's going to still hear it the same. Glide, that's for when you're in legato, coming from one key onto another. Hmm. I'd kind of prefer if that would slide. I think it's called portamento, like a violin string or like a fretless bass. Whereas what it's doing right now is it's more like a fretted instrument or like a keyboard where you're going each semitone in turn. Maybe they'll give us the options there in future. Cut off. There's the resonance. As you can hear playing around with those things, you can get some interesting things. It doesn't come with presets, but you can make your own and you can save them just by going in here, save as, and then you'll end up with a list of nice presets yourself. I started making a track that was supposed to become future bass and it ended up anything, but I just got inspired in a whole different direction. That's what happens, you gotta go with the flow. I added in an octave one. You'll hear it here. So that's done like this. That's the second one that comes in with the octave. And so of that, and you'll hear it. So it just thickens up the sound a bit. the two of them together. So I've got that set up like that. I think it's pretty much the same as the other one. But I've put one of these pitch shifters onto it. And I brought it up almost an octave. And with the pitch shifter you can grab it and you can You can um, offset a couple of them and it makes nice sounds. Give a listen to how that track develops. Go back to the start. doubled up and doubling up things is nice for layering. So here's the bass osc on its own. And I'll add the mini rays here. It just thickens it up nicely. That's what happened when I tried to make future bass. I made past bass. It's like something from the cure or something. That sort of ear anyway. Now here's where you can get really creative and go all dubstep on it. 
This time I put the bass osc in a rack so that I could make things happen with LFO and steps. So here's how it goes. <laughs> There's an LFO and that's affecting the amount, which is this one. And then we've got a steps that I put affecting the rate of the LFO. And it's as simple as that. So if, if you watch it as it plays, you'll see what's happening. So that affects this. These steps are also affecting the amount. They're changing the central position of the amount and this one is affecting the wave and that's how the wave is going up and down. And the reason why it jumps like that is because it's set up on transport. You can set it up on free transport or note. I like it on transport for a thing like this because then you know it's going to hit at the same time every time round. So it remembers where you are when you start and stop. It's a lot easier to sync things up that way. If you'd like me to teach you how to do that in more depth, let me know. Just stick it in the comments below. And I'll see you soon.